Chapter 1. Cracks in the Glass The scent of freshly brewed coffee wafted through the kitchen, a comforting aroma that always signaled the beginning of Lena's mornings. Her fingers traced the marble countertop, polished and flawless, just like the life she'd worked so hard to maintain. Everything in her world was pristine, from the white orchids in the vase by the window to the sparkling clean floors. It was a life most women would envy. Perfect house, perfect husband, perfect life. But perfection, she was beginning to realize, had its price. Sipping her coffee, she gazed out at the immaculately manicured lawn, watching the sunlight bounce off the dew-kissed grass. David had left for work an hour ago, just like he always did, with a quick kiss on her cheek and the same charming smile that had swept her off her feet years ago. They'd been married for five years now, and yet, something was different. Lena sighed, setting her coffee mug down. She had noticed the changes weeks ago, subtle, almost imperceptible things. David had always been attentive, the kind of husband who remembered anniversaries and made time for romantic dinners. But lately, there was a distance between them, a shadow she couldn't quite define. It wasn't just the late-night phone calls or his sudden, unexplained absences. It was something in the way he looked at her, like he was hiding something just behind those dark, enigmatic eyes. She walked through the house, her fingers brushing along the walls of their shared memories, framed photos of vacations, smiles that seemed so genuine at the time, a perfect couple, or at least that's how they looked to the outside world. But perfection, Lena thought, could easily be a mask for something much darker. The thought gnawed at her as she made her way upstairs, her heart heavy with an unspoken dread. It wasn't that she wanted to mistrust David. After all, he'd never given her a reason to doubt him. Not until now. But that gnawing feeling, that tiny seed of suspicion, had planted itself in her mind and refused to let go. Sitting down on the edge of the bed, Lena stared at the untouched side where David had slept the night before. His pillow still had the faintest scent of his cologne, but something else caught her eye. A flash of red. She leaned closer, her heart skipping a beat as she saw it. A smear of lipstick on the collar of his shirt, half buried under the blankets. Her breath hitched in her throat. Red lipstick. It wasn't hers. She hadn't worn red in months, not since that gala they'd attended last spring. The realization hit her like a punch to the gut. The evidence was there, lying right in front of her. But what did it mean? Her phone buzzed on the nightstand, pulling her out of her spiraling thoughts. She reached for it, hoping it was just a message from her friend or a notification from one of her apps. But her heart froze when she saw the name that popped up on the screen. Unknown number. The message was simple, almost innocuous in its casualness. Miss you already? Last night was amazing. Lena's fingers trembled as she read the words over and over again, her mind racing to make sense of it. She looked down at the lipstick again, the text blurring as panic set in. David's voice from earlier that morning echoed in her mind, the way he'd kissed her goodbye with that same charming smile. Had it been a lie? She stood up abruptly, pacing the room as her thoughts tumbled in every direction. There had to be an explanation. Maybe it was just a misunderstanding. Maybe she was overthinking. But the more she tried to convince herself, the more that gnawing feeling of dread took hold. Get it together, Lena she whispered to herself, running a hand through her hair. It's probably nothing. But deep down, she knew better. The cracks in her perfect life were beginning to show, and no amount of reassurance could change that. The lipstick, the message, the way David had been acting, it all pointed to something she wasn't ready to face. Later that evening, as she sat alone in the dimly lit living room, the house felt colder than it ever had before. David would be home soon, and she wasn't sure if she could look at him the same way. Every creak of the floorboards, every shift of the shadows made her jump, her nerves frayed and raw. When she finally heard the familiar sound of David's car pulling into the driveway, her heart pounded in her chest. She swallowed hard, 
forcing herself to breathe. There was no point in confronting him tonight. Not yet. Not until she had more answers. David stepped through the door, the same easy smile on his face as he called out, Hey, babe. I'm home. His voice was warm, as if nothing had changed. But for Lena, everything had. She smiled back, her heart aching with the weight of her suspicions. Hi, love, she replied, her voice steady despite the storm brewing inside her. As they sat down to dinner, Lena couldn't shake the feeling that the life they had built together, the perfect image they projected to the world, was nothing more than a fragile illusion. And with every passing second, that illusion was beginning to crack. Chapter 2 Unraveling Threads The sun filtered through the blinds, casting long, pale shadows on the floor. Lena sat at the kitchen table, her hands wrapped around a steaming mug of coffee, but the warmth did little to ease the coldness settling in her chest. She hadn't slept well the night before. Her mind had been consumed by the lipstick stain, the mysterious message, and the growing sense that something was deeply wrong. David had left for work just as he always did, his kiss lingering on her cheek longer than usual. She had watched him go, wondering if he could sense her suspicions. But he'd smiled that same disarming smile, as if nothing had changed, and Lena had found herself questioning her own sanity. She turned her phone over in her hands, the message from the unknown number still glowing on the screen. She had read it so many times that it was burned into her memory. Miss you already. Last night was amazing. Each word cut deeper into her soul, twisting the knife of doubt she hadn't wanted to acknowledge. With a deep breath, Lena finally tapped on the message, opening the full thread. There was nothing else, just that single damning text. She bit her lip, wondering if she should confront David right away or wait for more evidence. But how much more did she need? The signs were all there, weren't they? The lipstick the late nights, the way David had been more distant, more secretive lately. She thought about the dinners they used to share, filled with laughter and intimate conversations, compared to the silence that now stretched between them like an ever-growing chasm. I need to know the truth, she thought, her pulse quickening with determination. Lena wasn't the type to sit idly by while her world crumbled around her. She needed answers, and if David wasn't going to give them to her, she would find them herself. But the thought of digging into her husband's private life made her stomach twist with guilt. What if I'm wrong? What if this is all just a misunderstanding? But she couldn't let the doubt fester any longer. With a trembling hand, Lena picked up David's phone from the kitchen counter. He'd left it charging overnight, as usual. She knew his passcode. It was their wedding anniversary. The irony wasn't lost on her as she quickly unlocked it, her heart racing. Her eyes darted to his messages, and for a brief moment, she hesitated. Was she really about to do this? Was she really about to spy on the man she had promised to love and trust forever? But then the image of the lipstick on his collar flashed in her mind again, and the doubt that had been gnawing at her all morning hardened into resolve. The text message app opened smoothly, revealing a series of mundane conversations with co-workers, family members, and friends. Nothing out of the ordinary. No hidden affairs. No unknown contacts. Lena let out a shaky breath, part relief, part frustration. But then, there it was. A name she didn't recognize. Maya. The text thread between David and this woman was short, mostly businesslike, but it was the most recent message that made Lena's blood run cold. I'll see you tonight, same place. Her hands tightened around the phone as she stared at the screen, her mind racing. Who was Maya? And what did David mean by same place? The room seemed to tilt as Lena stood up, her legs unsteady beneath her. She couldn't breathe, her chest tight with the weight of the betrayal she had been so desperately trying to avoid. He's meeting her tonight, she realized, her pulse thudding in her ears. She had to know where. She had to see it for herself. Without thinking, she clicked on the contact information, scrolling down to find an address or location that could lead her to the truth. 
But there was nothing, no address, just a name, a phone number, and that same cryptic message. Her frustration mounted, a bitter taste rising in her throat. How could he do this to me, she thought, her heart pounding in her chest. After everything we've been through, she quickly closed the app and returned David's phone to its place on the counter. Her mind raced, every fiber of her being screaming at her to confront him, to demand answers. But deep down, she knew that would only lead to more lies, more deception. David was clever, and if he really was hiding something, he wouldn't admit it so easily. The rest of the day passed in a blur, her mind filled with images of David and this mysterious woman, Maya. Was she younger? Prettier? Was she everything Lena wasn't? Her thoughts spiraled into a dangerous loop, feeding her insecurities and fears. Every time she tried to distract herself with household tasks, the image of that text thread popped back into her mind, gnawing at her like a festering wound. When David came home that evening, Lena was sitting on the couch, pretending to read. Her eyes flicked to the clock, 7.30 p.m. He was later than usual. Hey, babe, he said, his voice casual as he walked through the door. How was your day? Lena forced a smile, her heart hammering in her chest. Fine. How about you? Busy at work? David nodded, shrugging off his jacket and hanging it by the door. Yeah, just the usual. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. The lie twisted in her gut. He was seeing her tonight. You're home later than usual, Lena said, trying to sound nonchalant, even as her pulse raced. David glanced at her, his expression unreadable. Yeah, a meeting ran long. You know how it is. He smiled, but there was something off about it, something distant. Lena swallowed hard, the weight of her suspicions pressing down on her. She knew she couldn't confront him yet, not without more proof, not without catching him in the act. Dinner's almost ready, she said softly, standing up and heading toward the kitchen, her hands shaking. I'll get it set up. David followed her with a distracted look, pulling out his phone and texting. No doubt, Maya. Lena's stomach churned, but she forced herself to stay composed. She couldn't let him see how much she knew. Not yet. As they sat down for dinner, the silence between them was deafening. Lena smiled and nodded at all the right moments, but her mind was elsewhere, planning her next move. Tomorrow, she would follow him. Tomorrow, she would finally learn the truth about Maya and about her perfect husband. And then, she would decide what to do with the broken pieces of her once perfect life. The Trail of Lies Lena could hardly sleep that night. The sheets that once felt like home now tangled around her like chains, keeping her mind trapped in an endless loop of suspicion. Every time she closed her eyes, images of David with another woman haunted her, a younger, beautiful stranger who had stolen everything Lena thought was hers. And yet, despite the turmoil churning within her, Lena forced herself to stay calm, to wait for the moment when the truth would finally unravel. Morning came too soon, David's usual routine played out like a movie she'd watched a thousand times. The sound of the shower, the clink of his coffee cup, the rustle of his jacket as he grabbed it from the hanger. Lena stood in the kitchen, her back to him, as she pretended to make breakfast. She felt the weight of his gaze linger on her for just a moment longer than usual. Are you okay? David asked, his voice a blend of concern and confusion. Lena turned, plastering a smile across her face, though her heart raced. Yeah, just tired, she replied, keeping her tone light. Didn't sleep well. David nodded, though something flickered in his eyes. Guilt? Suspicion? It was hard to tell. Maybe we can go out for dinner tonight. You've seemed stressed lately, he suggested, his voice soft. Dinner tonight? The words echoed in Lena's mind. He had plans with Maya tonight, didn't he? Was this an attempt to throw her off? To make her believe everything was normal, just like old times? Maybe, Lena said, her voice barely above a whisper. I'll let you know. David kissed her on the forehead, lingering longer than usual, as if trying to reassure her. But all Lena felt was cold. 
His touch no longer comforted her. It only deepened the chasm between them. She watched as he left the house, the door closing behind him with a soft click. Lena's breath hitched in her throat. This is it, she thought. Today is the day. She wasn't just going to wait anymore. Today, she would follow him and finally discover what he'd been hiding. The hours dragged on until the evening. Lena had spent most of the day pacing around the house, her mind concocting scenarios, both horrifying and absurd. What if Maya was just a friend? What if she had misunderstood everything? But deep down, she knew better. David wasn't the same man he used to be. The signs were all there. She had just been too blind to see them until now. As dusk settled over the city, Lena sat in her car, parked discreetly down the street from David's office. Her hands were clammy on the steering wheel, her pulse pounding in her ears. She watched as people trickled out of the building, their workday done, until finally, David emerged. Lena's breath caught in her throat as she spotted him. Dressed sharply in his usual suit, he walked with purpose, his phone in hand. Her stomach tightened when she saw him glance down at the screen, typing quickly before slipping it back into his pocket. Was that her? Was he texting Maya right now? Without a second thought, Lena pulled out behind him, keeping her distance as his car navigated through the city streets. She followed him in silence, her heart beating faster with every turn. The further they drove, the more certain Lena became that this was it. This was the moment she had been waiting for, the moment where everything would fall apart or come together in ways she couldn't predict. David turned into a quiet, upscale neighborhood on the outskirts of town, one Lena had never been to before. It was the kind of place where the houses were set back behind iron gates, where the lawns were manicured, and the trees lined the streets like sentinels guarding hidden lives. Who lives here, she wondered, as she followed at a safe distance, parking a block away when he finally pulled into the driveway of a large, elegant home. Lena's stomach churned with dread. This is it. This is where she is. She watched as David got out of the car and walked up to the front door. There was no hesitation in his step, no guilt or shame in his posture. He was too comfortable here, too familiar. Her heart sank as she saw a woman, presumably Maya, open the door. From this distance, Lena couldn't make out the details of her face, but it didn't matter. What mattered was the way David stepped into the house, the way the woman welcomed him in with a casual intimacy that made Lena's blood run cold. She had been right all along. For a few moments, Lena just sat there, frozen. She had imagined this moment a thousand times, but now that it was real, she didn't know what to do. Part of her wanted to march up to the door and demand answers. Part of her wanted to scream, to cry, to tear everything apart. But another part of her, deeper, colder, knew that she needed to play this carefully. What would happen if I confront him now? Lena thought, her hands trembling on the steering wheel. Would David lie again? Would he twist the situation, make her feel like she was the one going crazy? Number, she couldn't let that happen. Lena grabbed her phone, her fingers shaking as she opened the camera app. She snapped a few quick pictures of David and the woman together before slipping the phone back into her pocket. Proof. I need proof. She took a deep breath, trying to steady herself. She would leave now, but this wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. Tonight, she had seen enough to confirm her worst fears. But there were still too many unanswered questions. Who was Maya, really? How long had this been going on? And what was David's ultimate plan? Lena knew she couldn't confront him, without understanding the full scope of what was happening. Not yet. There was more she needed to uncover, more she needed to learn before she made her next move. With one last glance at the house, Lena started the car and drove away, her mind swirling with emotions, anger, sadness, and a deep, burning need for revenge. Back at home, Lena sat on the edge of their bed, staring at the photos she had taken, the evidence was irrefutable. David had betrayed her. But now that she knew the truth, she realized something else. She wasn't as weak as she had thought. The shock and grief that had once paralyzed her 
were now transforming into something else, something stronger. Lena wasn't going to let David break her, not anymore. She had played the part of the dutiful wife for too long, and now it was time for her to take control. She would uncover every lie, every secret, and when the time was right, she would confront him, not as the broken woman he thought she was, but as someone he would never see coming. And when that moment came, Lena would make sure David understood just how much he had underestimated her. Chapter 4 The Dance of Deception Lena woke the next morning with a newfound sense of purpose. The world outside her window seemed brighter, almost vibrant. But there was a storm brewing inside her, an eagerness mixed with the cold dread of what lay ahead. She was determined to take control of her narrative, and the first step was to gather more evidence. With David at work, she slipped out of bed, the weight of the sheets falling away like a discarded shroud. She needed to act swiftly. After a quick breakfast, she decided to dig deeper into Maya's life. Who was this woman who had encroached upon her world so easily? Lena settled at her kitchen table, her laptop open, fingers poised to type. She started with a simple Google search, entering Maya's name along with the city they lived in. There were countless results, but one stood out, a profile on a social media platform, a picture of a woman with sun-kissed skin, wavy hair, and a wide smile. Lena scrolled through Maya's posts, the vibrant images of brunches, vacations, and parties showcasing a life filled with laughter and adventure. What did she have that I didn't? The thought struck Lena like a physical blow, a pang of jealousy piercing through her resolve. But she shook it off. This wasn't about comparing lives. This was about uncovering a betrayal. As she browsed, Lena stumbled upon a mutual connection, one of David's co-workers. With a sense of urgency, she messaged him, her heart racing. Hi, Jake. Quick question. Do you know Amaya? I think she might work with David. The reply came almost instantly. Yeah, she's new, smart, ambitious, always hanging around David and the team. Why? Lena's heart sank, always hanging around. The words echoed ominously, feeding her unease. But she couldn't dwell on that now. Just curious. Thanks, she typed back trying to sound casual, even as her stomach twisted. With a deep breath, Lena pushed her feelings aside and decided to change tactics. Instead of staying cooped up at home, she would take a different approach. She needed to see how David interacted with Maya, to catch them in the act, if possible. She quickly grabbed her purse and headed for the door, her heart pounding with anticipation. The day was bright and sunny, an ironic contrast to the storm brewing within her. She made her way to a cafe near David's office, where she knew Maya often came for lunch. If she could catch them together, she would finally have the proof she needed. At the cafe, Lena found a small table in the corner, a view of the door and the outdoor seating area. She ordered a coffee, her hands shaking slightly as she sipped, scanning the entrance. Time crawled by every tick of the clock echoing in her ears. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, she spotted David walking in, his head held high, a broad smile on his face. Lena's heart raced as she saw him scan the room. And then, just a few moments later, Maya entered. Lena's breath caught in her throat. Maya looked effortlessly stunning, her hair cascading over her shoulders, dressed in a fitted sundress that accentuated her figure. Lena's jealousy flared again, but she quickly pushed it aside. This wasn't about her. This was about uncovering the truth. David moved toward Maya with an easy familiarity, leaning down to give her a quick peck on the cheek. Lena's heart dropped, anger boiling just beneath the surface. They sat down at a table outside, and as they began to talk, Lena strained to hear their conversation. At first, it seemed light and playful, punctuated by laughter that echoed across the cafe. But then, as the minutes passed, Lena noticed the intimacy of their interactions. The way David leaned in, the way Maya bit her lip as she spoke. Lena felt the bile rise in her throat, but she forced herself to stay calm. 
This isn't the end, she reminded herself. She needed more evidence. As she pulled out her phone to discreetly snap a few pictures, she noticed the couple glancing around, a shared secretive look passing between them. Lena's stomach churned as she realized they were likely talking about her. What have you been saying? She thought, fury igniting within her. Suddenly, Maya reached across the table, her hand brushing against David's. Lena's heart stopped. The gesture was small but loaded with meaning, a shared intimacy that should have belonged to her alone. Enough is enough, Lena thought. She couldn't stay in the shadows any longer. With determination coursing through her veins, she rose from her table and approached theirs, her heart pounding in her ears. David, she called out, injecting as much feigned cheerfulness into her voice as she could muster. David's eyes widened in shock, and for a split second, the color drained from his face. Maya quickly withdrew her hand, a look of surprise and confusion crossing her features. Lena, what are you doing here? David stammered, his voice laced with disbelief. Lena forced a smile, her heart racing as she met Maya's gaze, searching for any sign of guilt. I just thought I'd surprise you for lunch. I didn't know you'd be here with, uh, a friend. Maya recovered quickly, her smile bright and unapologetic. Hi, I'm Maya, she said, extending her hand. I work with David. It's great to finally meet you. Lena shook her hand, the coolness of Maya's grip sending a chill down her spine. Nice to meet you too, she replied, her voice steady despite the turmoil inside her. David glanced between them, his expression shifting from surprise to awkwardness. I didn't know you were coming, Lena, he said, attempting to deflect the tension. We were just... Just catching up? Lena interrupted, her smile unwavering. I can see that. You two look... cozy. The air thickened with unspoken words. Maya's eyes sparkled with a hint of mischief, and Lena felt a surge of anger rise within her. David opened his mouth, but Lena cut him off again. You know what? I'm sorry to interrupt. Why don't you two finish your lunch? I'll head home. With that, Lena turned on her heel and walked away, the weight of their gazes pressing against her back. She could hear David calling after her, but she didn't turn around. She needed to maintain her composure, to keep her emotions in check. Once back in her car, Lena let out a breath she didn't know she was holding. That was too easy. She had thrown herself into the lion's den, and though she felt a mixture of triumph and dread, the truth still loomed over her like a dark cloud. What now? The confrontation had only brought her questions. Did David really think he could keep this from her? Did Maya know she was the other woman, or was she just playing the part of the innocent friend? The answers were still just out of reach, but Lena was ready for the next step. She needed to confront David, to lay everything out on the table. No more hiding, no more pretending. She would gather all the evidence she had, and when the moment was right, she would strike. That evening, after David returned home, Lena sat at the dining table, her laptop open before her, a collection of photos and messages displayed on the screen. David walked in, his casual demeanor faltering as he noticed the atmosphere in the room. Lena, what's going on? he asked, concern etched on his face. Lena took a deep breath, her heart racing. We need to talk. No more lies, David. I know about Maya. His expression shifted from surprise to defensiveness. What do you mean you know about her? Don't play games with me, Lena said, her voice steady, but a storm brewed in her chest. I saw you two together at the cafe. I know what's been happening. David opened his mouth, but no words came out. The silence hung between them like a fragile thread, ready to snap. I have pictures, messages. You think I wouldn't find out? She continued, her heart pounding in her throat. What do you have to say for yourself? His eyes narrowed, anger flashing across his face. You have it all wrong, Lena. Maya is just a co-worker. We were discussing a project. Don't lie to me, Lena shot back, 
her voice trembling with fury. I saw the way you looked at her, the way she touched you. You've been lying to me, David. His expression hardened, and for a moment, she saw the walls go up, the defensiveness kick in. You're overreacting. This isn't what you think. You're making a big mistake. But Lena wasn't backing down. No, you're the one who made a mistake, David. And now it's time for you to come clean. Who is Maya, really? What's your relationship with her? The tension in the room crackled like electricity, the air thick with unspoken truths. David ran a hand through his hair. His jaw clenched tightly. I can explain, he finally said, his voice strained. Lena's heart raced. This was it, the moment she had been waiting for. Then explain, she demanded, her eyes locking onto his, unwilling to let him escape this time. Tell me everything. As the confrontation unfolded, Lena felt the rush of emotions within her, a mix of anger, hurt, and a strange sense of empowerment. No matter what came next, she was ready. She was done being the passive observer in her own life. This was her story, and she would reclaim it. Chapter 5 The unraveling, the tension in the room was palpable as Lena stared at David, her heart racing, adrenaline coursing through her veins. She felt the weight of the evidence she'd gathered pressing on her, a silent reminder that she was no longer a passive participant in her own life. David shifted uncomfortably, the defiance in his posture faltering as Lena's unwavering gaze pinned him down. Lena, listen to me, he started, the urgency in his voice evident. It's not what you think. Maya is just someone I've been working with. There's nothing romantic between us. Then why do you feel the need to hide it? Lena shot back, her voice steady despite the storm of emotions raging inside her. You've been acting different, and I've felt it. I know when you're lying to me. He ran a hand through his hair, his frustration spilling over. You're overreacting. I can't even have friends at work without you jumping to conclusions. You don't trust me. Trust is earned, David, she replied, her tone sharp as a blade. And you've been keeping secrets. You can't just dismiss my feelings. I need you to be honest with me. David sighed, the weight of her words pressing down on him. He stepped closer, his expression softening slightly. Okay, let me explain, he said, his voice quieter now. Maya started at the company a few months ago. She's talented, and we've been working closely on a project. Yes, I care about her as a colleague, but it hasn't gone beyond that. I swear Lena took a deep breath, searching his eyes for sincerity. If that's true, then why didn't you tell me? Why all the secrecy? I didn't think it was a big deal, he exclaimed, throwing his hands up in exasperation. I thought it would be easier to keep work and home separate. I never wanted you to feel this way. Easier? Lena echoed, her voice rising. You've made it ten times worse by keeping it from me. I need to know if I can trust you. If there's nothing going on, why is it so hard to be open? He hesitated, a flicker of uncertainty crossing his face. I just, I didn't want to upset you. Lena's heart sank. Was this really the extent of his honesty? David, I can handle the truth. What I can't handle is being kept in the dark. The silence stretched between them, heavy with unspoken words. Lena felt her heart beating in her chest, each pulse a reminder of the betrayal that hung in the air like a thick fog. Finally, David stepped back, running a hand through his hair, frustration bubbling beneath the surface. Okay, maybe I haven't been perfect. I've made mistakes. But I love you, Lena. That's the truth. Her heart ached at his words, but the sting of betrayal lingered. Love isn't just words, David. It's trust honesty, and communication. You haven't shown me that. His face fell, and for a moment, she saw the vulnerability behind his bravado. What do you want from me? He asked, desperation creeping into his voice. I want to understand what's happening between you and Maya, she replied, her tone softening. I want to know if this is just a passing phase or something more. David looked away, his silence speaking volumes. Lena's heart sank further. This was the moment of reckoning. If you're willing to fight for us, to prove that you want to be with me, 
then I need you to cut ties with her, Lena said firmly. I can't do this if you keep her in your life. Lena, you're asking for a lot, he replied, the hesitation evident in his voice. She's my co-worker. I can't just cut her off. Then I don't know if I can be in this relationship anymore, she said, her voice breaking. I need to protect myself. I can't be second to someone else. The weight of her words hung in the air, heavy with finality. David's expression shifted, uncertainty and regret washing over him. Please don't say that, he pleaded, stepping closer again. I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. Lena's heart wavered at the sincerity in his voice. But was it enough? I need time to think, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. She felt the tears prick at the corners of her eyes, but fought to keep them at bay. I can't make a decision like this on impulse. David nodded slowly, his expression filled with a mix of sadness and understanding. Okay, take your time. Just know that I care about you. Lena forced a nod, her heart heavy as he turned to leave. The silence in the room echoed loudly, filling the space with an emptiness that felt suffocating. As she lay in bed that night, Lena replayed the conversation over and over in her mind. The weight of uncertainty pressed down on her like a lead blanket. Could she really trust David again? The memory of Maya's smile and the way David had looked at her haunted Lena. Was she strong enough to walk away, to choose herself? Just as she began to drift off to sleep, her phone buzzed beside her. Groggy and curious, she picked it up to see a message from Jake, David's co-worker. Hey, Lena, just wanted to let you know, Maya mentioned she's been having a great time getting to know David. Thought you might want to hear that. Lena's heart dropped. There it was. Proof of his betrayal. She felt the rage bubble within her once more igniting a fire that demanded to be released. No more waiting, no more second-guessing. The next morning, Lena woke with a clarity she hadn't felt in a while. She spent hours reflecting on her feelings, emotions swirling in her mind like a tempest. She wouldn't let fear dictate her choices anymore. With newfound resolve, she pulled out her laptop and began drafting an email. It was time to let David know exactly how she felt, and what she expected moving forward. Subject. Us. Dear David, I've thought about our conversation, and I appreciate your honesty, but it's clear we need to address this relationship and what it means to both of us. I can't continue if there's even the slightest chance of a romantic involvement with Maya. I need you to be completely honest with me. If there's anything more than a professional relationship, I need to know. I want to be with you but I refuse to live in the shadows. You must decide what you want. I'll be waiting for your response. Best, Lena. As she hit send, a sense of liberation washed over her. No more hiding, no more uncertainty. Lena knew the road ahead wouldn't be easy, but she was ready to fight for her happiness. Whatever the outcome, she would no longer let herself be a pawn in someone else's game. Epilogue a new dawn weeks passed, each day a test of her strength and resolve. Lena focused on herself, her career, her friendships, and her own passions. She had made it clear to David that they needed space, that she needed to rediscover who she was outside of their relationship. One afternoon, while browsing through a local art gallery, Lena stumbled upon a painting that captivated her, a vibrant explosion of color and emotion. As she stood there, she felt a sense of hope blossom within her. Life was about embracing the chaos and finding beauty in the unexpected. Just then, her phone buzzed with a message. It was David. Lena, can we talk? I've been doing a lot of thinking. She felt a flutter of nerves, but this time, it was accompanied by a sense of control. She responded, Sure, I'm open to talking just know that things have changed. Days later, they met at their favorite cafe, the same one where their worlds had nearly collided. David sat across from her, a mix of hope and regret in his eyes. I've realized something important, he began, his voice steady. 
I can't lose you, Lena. I care about you more than I ever thought possible. I understand now that I need to be open and honest with you. Maya was a distraction, but she never compared to what we have. Lena listened, her heart both hesitant and hopeful. What does that mean for us? She asked, a tremor in her voice. It means I want to fight for our relationship. I'm ready to put in the work, he replied earnestly. I promise to communicate openly from now on. Lena took a deep breath, weighing his words carefully. I want that too, David. But it's going to take time. Trust isn't rebuilt overnight. Whatever it takes, he assured her, his gaze steady. I'll be here. As they talked, Lena felt the weight of uncertainty begin to lift. It wouldn't be easy, and there would be challenges ahead, but she was ready to face them head on. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the cafe, Lena realized that this was only the beginning. She was no longer just a character in someone else's story. She was the author of her own life, and she would write it with courage, passion, and resilience.